Is this a season finale? Yeah. Oh, I'm always wanting to climax. <laughs> Did you just say that? Namaskar. 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 What do people do on social media? They judge. Troll. Troll. <laughs> to fuck to follow. Karan, yeah. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what do you get trolled about though? Mostly sane, more like mostly lame. Gejo. She thinks she's funny. Lombri lag raha hai. And frankly, I don't give a damn. High five. You High win. five, Rajatta. High five. Don't be a cookie cutter. Like be your own biscuit. Oh. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I'm gonna put oh that on a T-shirt. That's a T-shirt. I am my own biscuit. Don't be a cookie cutter. Be a biscuit. <laughs> All right. So you guys already know who my guests are by now. But what do you know about them? Let me tell you a few things. Are they obsessive multitaskers? Tick. Are they at the pinnacle of their success? Tick, tick. Do they love posing for the camera? Duh. And uh, I think the one thing that you really should know about them is please never ask them what they're thinking of at a funeral. My season finale guest for Poco presents Social Media Star with Janice Prajakta Goli. Please say hello to Karan Johar. Hello, namaskar. 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 Okay, okay, I feel like I have to explain that last line. What was that? Okay, know, because right. firstly, like Karan came up with the idea of the fab lives of Bollywood wives while they were on their way to yeah, a yeah. funeral okay. or chautha or no, something. No, no. It was strange. We were on a plane, and um, it was the most bizarre conversation that happened between the four of them and me. They started talking about one of them feeling overdressed because everybody was in various shades of white, and. Pretty much not like this because this is not even overdressed. Like you're supposed to be cool on a social media show, right? But you didn't get the memo. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So anyway, so that Dead put aside. Inside right that now. Put, Can we change my jacket at least? No, it looks lovely. Thanks. You know, and I'm sure you have a sangeet to attend right oh. now. <laughs> so I think it was Mahip who told Neelam that why are you wanting so much badla work? Like we're going for a funeral, and she said, but you know, we're going to someone's house, and then Mahip said, but I've got, I removed all my jewelry, and you know. Because you know we're going like to Shok Manao and all that, and then they all started to discussing: Are my shoes too flashy? Is my kurta? And we're actually going <laughs> because someone is dead, and we're going to actually offer our condolences. But suddenly the conversation became about the four of them and what they were wearing and why somebody felt underdressed, somebody felt overdressed. And in my head, I said, "This is a show." <laughs> <laughs> and I told them out loud. I said, "Listen, I think I can actually conceive and conceptualize a show around the four of you." And they were like, "Yeah, right, whatever." Yeah. But when I got back home, huh. post the condolence visit, I actually called up my creative team, huh. Anisha, uh, who heads our non-fiction department, and we made a show out of it. And it's already out there. We have season two coming up. Oh so, my God. can I say uh, that my favorite character in the show is Sanjay Kapoor? He's fat. He's, He's my amazing. favorite, not character. Can I please, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I please tell you? I literally did something with the four four wives, and I had someone come up and like you know on like in one of those audio apps and say like, uh, Mahip, all I want is for you to call me an asshole. And she's like, this is something that happens to me everywhere I go now. Like yeah. people are like, can you just call me an asshole? Just say asshole to me. Yeah, but she does. That's her favorite word for any way. <laughs> she says asshole in a good way and asshole in a bad way. And but I don't know why Prajapta is pretending to be like so like shocked because I've also done like interviews where she talks about where if she's going to a funeral also and she's seeing how people are reacting, this is great content. I should make a video out of it. No, no. Listen, one second. I mean, huh. it happened once, and now it happened quite some time ago actually. I remember looking at this one lady who was like crying a lot. Okay, it was in my close. Family friend's house. Mm -hmm. So I went up to Ma's friend and I said, "Auntie, who is she?" Like, <laughs> she was just crying. <laughs> so nobody knew her, and it was the she later. She was just weeping. Yeah, she was weeping and weeping. So suddenly everyone started having second thoughts about. I was like, "Yeah, no, yeah have, why?" <laughs> so I have a theory that this has happened to me when Kabi Kushi Kabi Gam was releasing, and I had gone to a family. Members uh, who at that time had passed away, and she was very old in her 90s. So I think that uh, people who cross a certain age, huh. I think rightfully because they've seen so much of life and death and tragedy and downs, and they've just seen all of life that their uh, ability to mourn is kind of switch on, switch off. Kabi khushi kabi gham release, and in between. 
crying. There were older, like, you know, members of the community who would say, Kitni achi thi ye jo chali gai and she'd say, Kon kon hai film mein? So I was like, and I was like, uh, uh, Amit ji, Jaya ji, wo bhi hai, Shah Rukh Kaju bhi achi, kitni achi thi. Aur kon hai? I said, Nifty Kareena bhi hai, wo bhi hai picture mein, saare picture mein kitni achi thi. And so it was oscillating between kitni achi thi who had passed away to the cast of my movie. And then I realized that they don't mean it. They really genuinely are feeling bad for the person who passed away, but would also like to know about the film. <laughs> so, I feel like no one knows what is the appropriate way to behave at a funeral. Is there a reason we started talking about funerals? <laughs> yeah, are like we what? both because we are in white? Yeah. Is that <laughs> what is like that triggered why? it? Wow, yes. yes, I had no none of those thoughts in my head at all. Because right now we are one wedding and two funerals. <laughs> <laughs> like normally when Karan comes, okay, Karan has always, there's always something blingy on him and I'm like, I got to be a little bit better dressed Arre, and yaar, blingy. It's my, see there. Haan, there. There's bling, na? It's my Sindhi roots, yeah. my mom's Sindhi. Like it's so now we're going Sindhi. into, now we're blaming the Sindhi huh? community. It's gorgeous, what is it? It's a lion? Yeah. Oh. Ask him nice to give it to you, he'll give it. Take no, it. No. no, no. For real? Yeah, take it, it's for real, take it. You can ask Karan for things that you like, he'll really give Please it to you. Please take it. Karan, it's... Now, he's not offered anything, he's not given it back. Is this... Happy Is this a... What is this? It's a Gucci ring. I scored on you this know, shoot, friends. You know, I think after friends. the show gets over, now let's just get Karan to stand for a minute and be like, uh, can we get that? Karan, we get I that? love What else are you wearing, Karan? Show, show, what else are you wearing? See, I'm wearing all kinds of, uh, like, creatures. But oh. I'm curious about this. I'm sure this yeah. is really expensive. No, no, it's yours. Look at Prajukta being so proud. Don't worry, the next time we work it's on a film... It's a Gucci film, ring, of course it's expensive. The next time we work on a film, you will pay the price for it. <laughs> As long as we work next okay, time on a course, film, I'm a winner course. there. Okay, All right, good. Wear it, wear it. If it's hot, adjust it. Adjust it. I'm only going to sit like this now. Yeah. Okay, but like, what were your first impressions of each other? Because now you're acting <clears> in a dharma <throat> film. And like, Karan is your producer. Which is also why I feel like Prajakta is very coy and very like demure today because she's sitting with Karan. Otherwise, you're slightly like with Vicky, you're like, eh, all over the place. I was all over the place. You were all over Vicky? I was Of course, not. she was all over Vicky. What is going on? Look at her, she's looking, not all over. Hi, she's this looking. is a nice, this is She's all looking over, like yeah? a, like a, like, you know, stars in her eyes. I was. Like, I, so I called Vicky and I was like, listen, there's this massive YouTuber who has this crush on you. And I think but she why not? He's hot. Yeah. And he's such a nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. so totally sweet. a legit, yeah, legit yeah. crush yeah, yeah, yeah. to have. Yeah. And now that he's married. So what? I still have Listen, a crush on him. It's even more desirable. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, coming back to the question. What is your first impression of me? I don't think you remember this, but I was once hosting Red Carpet at many years ago at a Mitchy Music Awards. And I remember I was so nervous. I'm never that person, but for some reason I was wearing this outfit that looked like a disco ball. Like it was full jatak outfit I, I mean, was like wearing. Me. And I remember <laughs> you walking up to me. And I was like, hi, Karan, this, that. And I told you, I said, uh, that I loved Ellen's show and it was yeah. your show. These yeah. are the two shows that yeah. I always watch. And they had asked me to record a step with you. Yeah. And you said, uh, I'm not going to do a step. What do you have? What, what, give me something that I'm not going to do for free. So I looked at you and I was like, I said, I, I don't know. He's like, not your dress, something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds definitely so, like Karan. So I've been wardrobe shaming people ever since. <laughs> I want to tell you, Karan has walked into this set. Uh, he has told my director what he thinks about her clothes. He's told mm. me what he thinks about my clothes. Prajakta is apparently dressed for a funeral, but Karan, you are fine. But now I'm not a funeral. Listen, I got a Gucci ring. Yeah, Listen, Gucci opinions, ring. as Mahib says, is an uh, uh, assholes. Like, everyone has one. Them, yes. And my opinions can't be taken seriously, but I have them and I have to say it when I can. No, no, Karan, enough. your opinions are taken very seriously. I mean, have you been on the a internet too seriously? <laughs> but I want to tell you my first impression huh. is when we were casting Juk Juk Jio, and I had, of course, seen a lot of Projecta stuff um, online, huh. and the idea popped up in a casting meeting. And, um, you know, we, the film is about like this completely quintessential Punjabi household. I said, what a great idea. And I said, like, she'll be amazing. Because we huh. wanted to have, like, exciting members. So we had, of course, Prajakta Sajaj, Manish Paul. Huh. And we have a, we already had Neetuji kind of making a, well, not a comeback, but after many years. Many years so, yeah. you know, there was a lot of fun happening with the casting. We said completely, and then she got on board. And I still remember the day she walked into the office. And I remember meeting you. Yes. Uh, for the first time in, in the corridor yeah. at Dharma. I was doing trials. You were doing the trials. And I, I remember saying, welcome aboard. And I was really happy. And I can't tell you how lovely she is. She has has just a natural way of being, which is just herself, mm. uh, which comes through very beautifully even in film because uh, it's like, and I've seen her in Mismatched and I absolutely enjoyed watching her. Like I loved watching, I feel like, I don't think she's aware of a camera that's rolling and that's the kind of acting I love. Mm. When you're not performing, but you're just being. Mm. And I think that's what Prajakta actually does with a lot of panache. She just 
bees. But, but Karan, since the last time you were on my show, when um, you put your foot in the mouth in a really big way because you didn't recognize a big K-pop star, <gasps> Kai. There's a whole story, guys. You can watch that episode somewhere here. We're yeah, going to link but, but. it. And also, oh, Prajakta's episode with Vicky Kaushal. We'll link it somewhere here. Anyway, but my point is, of course, this our comment section filled with like, oh, Karan, you got to meet Kai. Karan, you got to meet Kai. But of course, a lot of people were also pissed off that you had no idea what his <laughs> name was and that you did not recognize then him. We went to three other people before meeting him. <laughs> It's a long story. You watch the episode. Anyway, since then, uh, like I feel like over the last two years, your relationship with social media, to me at least it seems like, has changed. Like I feel like earlier you were a lot more free with your opinions, thoughts, what you were posting. And now it's a lot more controlled. I also often feel like your page, because Dharma and congratulations on that, is doing so much work, like in so many different aspects. Do you feel like your every, all your social feed has become like one advertising page? You know, you must understand that eventually it's a platform that you are leveraging to build a connection with the world outside. Hmm. And it is my job. Hmm. I'm not here to disassociate myself from my filmmaking hmm. or from my storytelling narrative, which is the most critical part of who I am. It's what defines me as who I am. So if I have a film releasing, I'm going to use social media as a no, platform. I get it. And if I have so much content coming out of the company and knock on wood for that, that, you know, that through the pandemic we've managed so much, then I'm going to use it. I've realized that, you know, whether you like it or not, you're going to get, you know, scanned. Like if you read any of my comment section, I get trolled a lot. And frankly, my dear, as they say in Gone with the Wind, I don't give a damn. <laughs> because I stopped caring about the negativity mm. as much as I started focusing on the love. Like, so even now when I scan through comment section, I only stare where the hearts are there. Commenting on my sexuality, commenting on what they believe I am. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 50 in May. And I'm just so grateful. Landmark I, age. Yes, and I'm so grateful for so much. So I'm like, I can't focus on the negative because that trolling is going to happen. Whatever I do, there's going to say something negative about me. But what about your relationship with social media? Because you're evolving now, right? I mean, you're not just a YouTuber anymore. You're acting now. You're trying out other things. What has that response been like from your audience? It's been, I mean, very similar to what Karan said. Because she it's doesn't been... get trolled at all. Oh, huh? no, of course I do. But I get trolled all the time. Like, there's this. No, don't worry. You sat with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of trollers. <laughs> They're all going to come your way. Honestly, very similar to what he thinks. I mean, honestly, everything that I get to do today, I am very aware of the fact that it comes from the support that I got on YouTube through my audience. I mean, they've held my hand through everything. And they've always been super supportive. They've been very honest with me also. What has happened is that now I can actually tell the difference between a troll and... Uh, like constructive criticism. Oh. What do you get trolled about though? Everything. She thinks she's funny, mostly sane, more like mostly lame. Uh, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> They're not bad also. I, I have a snake emoji that comes out what? with my... I don't know. And then of course there's there's me, then they say that lombri lag rai, gay jo, snake comes out, like all kinds of strange things. And yeah. then of course the whole Nepo thing. And now to the extent like, you know, I've got immune to it. Like yeah. I've got literally like yeah. that 90-year-old auntie who's immune to people dying. Yeah. Like, my whole thing in funda in life is very simple. Mm. Love me, hate me, for heaven's sake don't be indifferent to me. Mm. Because that's something that might kill me. Mm. Indifference is something that I don't think I can bear. Like, and I'm being completely honest about it. Like, I think you can hate me with all your might. Like, you know, yeah. that doesn't matter because something I'm doing is affecting you. Yeah. That is enough. So you're basically saying you want to constantly stay relevant. And relevance is everything for yeah. any artist. Yeah. And I tell her the same thing. Yeah. That if you do not remain relevant, you're not going to be with the times. Yeah. It doesn't matter how old you are, how you look, what work, you have to be relevant. And relevant means to understand your climate and atmosphere. Yeah, correct. Look at Karan's jacket today. The last time Karan was on the show, Karan had no idea what, what salty, salty was. was. Now I'm wearing <laughs> and salty. And now Karan is wearing a jacket that says salty. salty. Yeah, and that's what defines me. <laughs> I'm salty drama. <laughs> salty drama. Is my comment section में कुछ और होने वाला है ओके करो अभी जो भी है अभी अभी ऐसे ऐसे already मुन्नी बदनाम हो चुकी है डालिंग किसके लिए हाँ अभी डालिंग किसके लिए we don't know which is your favorite करण जोर फिल्म केथरी जी it is now. It's just cult in so many ways. I, I love it. Yeah. But more than films I like watching uh, Coffee with Karan. Like I watch reruns all the time on Hotstar. Yeah. Yeah I watch it Hotstar all the time. Hotstar didn't pay us. We're still plugging you. Hotstar पे है episodes सारे हाँ 
So you know when you idealize someone so much and then we like when, when I meet what is that person is not like that but I remember the when we met in that corridor <laughs> Karan was everything I'd imagined and more because in that like 10 minutes there were like 10 things that made me go <laughs> Did you just say that? It was hilarious. I was so inappropriate. I was like, oh my god. Oh, was I inappropriate? You were very inappropriate. Oh dear. I'll tell you later. Oh, I have forgotten. Good. I have forgotten. <laughs> I have forgotten. Have I said many things that were inappropriate? Two, three things. So you said. Two, three things I yeah. said. Karan never remembers. Ah, because I'm being inappropriate on a daily basis. And then It's I went like... home and I told Maaj, like, Maaj is exactly like that and more. Karan, <laughs> <laughs> the first time I met Karan, he was drunk. Oh. <gasps> that is the only time in his life. Karan has said something nice about my outfit. Oh, what did he I say? Was, I was like, because I was, I was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only. Is that what it takes? Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Probably what it what takes. But I must look better Janice, in that. Janice, like I want to tell you, it's lovely your outfit. Yes. It's just probably you know where we are. <laughs> Excuse me, a season finale. Okay, I will wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. Is this a season finale? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. always wanting to climax. No. I'm so glad. Excuse me, Karan. You've shown the world. What it is like for a woman to climb up? Of course, oh, that's yeah. true. And yeah. but what about my own love story? Yeah, उसका क्या हो? वो कोई ना कोई बना देगा. I remember even in love stories when the reviews came, like it was like surprisingly Karan Johar's film, like you know, like, <laughs> I'm like you know why I did that anthology. I remember when Ashi came to me, she was like, I know you won't do it, and you know I'm just coming, and I'm doing. So I said, who's directing it? So she said, Zoya, Dibakar, and Anurag are on, and we need one. So I took a beat. I said, I really want to do this. So she said, Huh? I said, You know why? Because I want to ride on them for reviews. <laughs> so I said, Because मुझे कभी अच्छे review नहीं मिलते यार. I said, You know, मेरे मेरे फिल्मों के कोई companion नहीं है. Really? Oh, I said. Nice, nice, nice. So I said, जितना भी मैं कर लूँ, जो भी मैं कर लूँ, वो एक एक there's a community of people who are never going to think that I'm doing anything of substance. It's huh. always going to think that. Oh, it's rich world, rich people's problems, glamour, glitter, no soul, no pushing the envelope in cinema. Huh. And I'm like, yeah, Joby, think so. You know, it's what comes to me naturally, and I'll do what I have to. And I read all the reviews, and they always matter. I always believe they matter, but I don't get the love. You know, so I'm like, चलो ये anthology मिल जाएगा, तो शायद even in that review, मर मर के, घिस घिस के, मुझे like, and yeah, honestly, surprisingly. <laughs> You know, ironically, I got all those adjectives. I'm like, कोई तो बोल दो यार के deserving था. So one second, one second, one second. What I've understood from this conversation is that he gives two, he gives two fucks about comments, but he gives like twenty fucks about reviews. Basically, I give a lot of yeah. fucks for yeah. about reviews. Reviews, you are like, you I want. really want to be loved. Like that is where you really want. अरे मुझे really चाहिए, genuinely चाहिए. Like, And some films I know that are not review friendly, huh. but when you make like when I directed, say, my name is Khan, I directed that film, a film to win an award. Like yeah. I wanted to win an award. I mm. said, "Mujhe." And the day I won that film for award, I was like, "Yeah, I did it." Like you know, because I was like, "Iske baad nahi milna, iske pehle bhi deserve nahi karta tha main." But I mujhe chahiye. Is critics chahiye? Mujhe mujhe chahiye. As a producer and as a director, I hunt down those reviews. I look at every website. <laughs> I will look at everyone who writes anything bad, good, whatever. I read every single word because I'm saying it out loud. It matters. That's Which brings me to my next question with you, Project. Like I want to understand, right? Like there's a lot of conversation. Right? right now online about privacy and where to draw the line for someone like you where your generation is almost born with the phone in your hand where do you draw the line you know luckily for me when i started this 7 years ago and i started with the team that i work with still they were very clear about this they were like listen this is how it's going to be this is how it is so you need to draw that line for yourself you need to make sure that you surf the internet and not the other way around like mm. i will not share much about vishank or i will not go ahead and share much about my parents because that's what makes them uncomfortable or my friends also because i've been doing this for long enough i know exactly when it might start bothering me so i know i'm always one step back whether she is real queen huh? like prajakta could be anywhere and i mean she could be in her car she could be in her bathroom she could be in a hotel room hey, bathroom i don't show no, i don't mean like when you do when you're sitting on the pot okay. but like you could ha, shoot ha, like ha. like washing yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah don't go there <laughs> i'm saying she is real queen like, but i love i love shooting reels and shots i really like them Yeah, you need to teach Karan because Karan is like reels. Karan is not understanding the reels game at reels all. Reels ka reel game mine ah, is very bad. Really. I don't know what to do, but me kya dikhau reel me. You know what? I would really like to have a show or like a series of reels where it's just Karan Johar's Johar's daily vlogs. But you know, I don't know how to add a song also. I don't know how to do you. that. You'll teach me. Can I really? I'm, I really mean this, <laughs> and I'm not just joking because I gave you that ring, so something has to come back. <laughs> no, it's a transactional I relationship. You it? Yeah. <laughs> Can you really give me like a half an hour coaching on yes. these reels? Yes. Because I have the 
thoughts. I just don't know how to actively I'll do come. it. I'll come. Okay. Karan, you know I'll you have like editing, a company sound, everything. and you have like also... Let me in. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rajabta will do it. Have, I have a full team. You know, why will you go to a student when you have an institution? Correct. Mm. Correct. Oh, you have made an institution. Bhi bana diya. Quotes on quotes Matlab, on quotes. You have quotes. gone from like... Right? I've gone from panache you know, real game. to... Can, you know, my real game is very bad. It won't be. We'll fix it. I want to go back to the privacy question to you also, Karan. Because... Um, you're completely okay with both your kids being yeah, yeah. on camera all the time. What do you make of others who are sort of like, ah, mere bachche and this and that and nazar lag jayegi and Honestly, you know. Honestly, oh. to each his own. Hmm. And even I was told that you know, unki kala tika laga lo, nazar lagti hai. It all started actually during the lockdown because we were all sitting at home and there was nothing that anyone was doing. And I put out one video and I just felt like, it got a lot of joyousness, like you know, in hmm. terms of, you know, because the kids were cute. And now I want to tell you it's, Quite strange, strange and hilarious. But Ruhi has got addicted to her own videos. <laughs> like so now she goes onto YouTube and makes and types Ruhi Johar and she oh, pops no. up and she's staring at us. She's become a bit of a megalomaniac. <laughs> I want to tell you. Ruhi is a megalomaniac. Now if that is not a made of mad moment, I don't know what is. Like, like, I feel like you'll never put out maybe a video from a party again because look at that now. I mean, look at the kind of rubbish those. No. Headlines so and it's a joke now because with me and a camera and phone and there everybody like disappears in <laughs> stop block. I feel like since she's starting off with her big like I know she's already done like mismatch and thing, but this is her big Bollywood debut. Mm. Can I just tell yeah. you something? When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a Disney princess till I realized and, I, and then so many people were like, listen, like you're gonna do a dharma film. I said, now I realize that uh, I'd much rather be a dharma bride. Because the clothes I am wearing in the film, oh my god. But I was saying, give her like one thing, like one tip that you feel like will hold her in good stead for the years to come. Like one thing if you were to tell a young actor who's starting out, like keep this in mind. Don't like try and uh, don't be a cookie cutter, like be your own biscuit. Oh, oh wow. wow. I'm going to put oh that on a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. I am my own biscuit. Don't be a cookie cutter. <laughs> be a biscuit. Be your own biscuit. I am my own biscuit. Yeah, because you're salty enough. Oh, it. dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> After all that biscuit talk, uh, I'm actually strangely craving biscuits now. But let's move on to our next segment. It's called Poco Share or Dare. Okay, I'm going to ask you questions based on some social media apps. And if you don't want to answer those questions, well, then you need to do my dares. And to help me out in this process, I've got my larger than life Poco M4 Pro 5G. Oh. All right. That's YouTube, of course. Hmm. Film related questions, Instagram, out of the box questions, WhatsApp, and of course, Google. Turn by turn, huh. pick a social media app. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I will ask you my a question. Turn. I will Best choose WhatsApp. He's not even waited for who will start. He's like, I will choose WhatsApp. My turn. Okay, Karan. What is the WhatsApp group that you're desperate to exit? Must be one of the film groups. That you're is on all the film groups. Yeah, so but like, I don't want to exit any of the friend groups. Uh, a lot of what I wanted to exit, I already exited. So there's nothing really. I can tell you about a group that is fun. So there is a group that is called A-List, which has everybody with the alphabet A on it. What? The, uh, yeah, so it has How did like, you make it to this group? Uh, because, because I'm also like the pun on A-list. Uh, so there's Amrita, who's a production designer who we all love. There's Ayan Mukherjee. There's Aarti Shetty. There's Abhishek Varman. There's me. And then there's Pooja Shetty, artist. She's a piece, sorry. Uh, but yeah, but this is like a, we're one group where we have an analysis on film trailers, every unit that comes out. So Abhishek Varman, who's the director of Two States and yeah. Kalank, he always puts out like the trailers of the new things first and then we all give our verdicts. Right. And also all of us have to review films that we've seen right. and it's a very close-knit group and nothing can be forwarded. So Ranbir and Alia tried very hard to get into this group but <laughs> we rejected them because Ayan said no movie stars. <laughs> because we might have opinions on their movies which we don't want them right, to. Right, right, right. right. But we are hilarious. Our reviews are hilarious. If anybody really crashed into this WhatsApp group, I'd be into a lot of trouble. Right, say that. Okay. Great. Pick an app. Pick an app. Instagram. De de me ko. Tere paas me hai zara. Who is the most famous person whose Instagram DMs you have slid into? Harry Styles. What did you text him? Why I'll tell you. Then what is the point of this game? <laughs> you know what? I am extremely boring on Instagram DMs. 
I really haven't even texted Harry Styles. I was just looking for a fake answer. Wow. Like I mean, when you were <coughs> hitting on Vicky Kaushal, for example, you never like slid into his DMs. No, I used to see that tag him on my stories. No. <laughs> I mean, I have messaged Dan Levy five times while watching Shit's Creek. Uh, post that, he has not responded even once. One second, Dan Levy responds to everyone on Twitter. But maybe on Twitter. Maybe but so on if you want second, reach out to him on Twitter. Then reach out to him on Twitter. Oh yeah, I should. I'm obsessed with that show. Like, like to me, it's, a, to, it's like it's a moment David. of pop culture, and I'm hysterical about like like everything to do with that show. And actually, I have quite a hit record of uh, DMing like people's work I've seen internationally. But uh, like Dan Levy, I can say it because I got no reply. <laughs> but I think you should really try on Twitter because I swear he replies on Twitter. But if then you the whole go, world then will you know, can't. No, no. Then I'll come I thought he then off. once you chat on Twitter, then you can slide into his DMs. Mm. Because otherwise you can't slide. I don't want the world to know. Okay, so you're sending. This is my personal love. Okay, personal love. You choose God. No, Karan will choose. Oh, Karan will choose. I'm sorry, he replied for you also. Yeah, I'm taking out of the box. Okay. Karan, as the producer of the fabulous lives of Bollywood wives, mm -hmm. rate the four wives. No. <gasps> Neelam, Mahib, Seema, Bhavna, from best to worst dressed IRL <gasps> in real life. You can do this, Karan. They won't even feel bad. No, but that's not fair. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> best dress would be Seema. Mm -hmm. Mahib is up to game recently, so I'll go to Mahib next. Two. And then I'm tying on Neelam and Bhavna. So you're just not willing to put anyone at a number four position. No, they, I mean, I think all of them are quite hip and stylish. But this is my order. Seema is also a designer, so I think she has like a, an advantage. Okay. And Mahip has recently upped her game. Till last year or two years, her post-pandemic fashion is much better. Right. Pre-pandemic, she would have been last. Okay, chalo, done. What do you want to pick? Google. Okay. As per various websites, including Quora and Reddit, who keep discussing this. Prajakta Kohli earns between 11 to 15 crores a year. What? True or false? False. No. Fif 11 to 15 crores? I really wish that's true though. But it's not. Put it out there, put it out there. It's yeah. false guys, it's Next false. Next season when I come, I'm gonna say true. True, yeah. That's a, that, that's a spirit. Okay, high five. Give me next, Karan. What is that one? Films. Films. Okay, chalo. Naturally, Films. I'm a filmmaker. Mm. Mm. Karan Johar. Hanji. You have some of the most popular names in the film industry. On your very popular show, Coffee <coughs> with Karan, mm -hmm. which of your guests would you never call back? Mm -hmm. uh, I won't call Richard Gere back. <laughs> He's so smart. First season, mein, Richard Gere, India. I have no, he was very, very polite to come on the show, but um, I think it'll be very difficult for me to call him back. So I won't call him back. Yeah. And I know you wanted a more no. exciting answer, but you didn't get I it. I get it. You ask a question, you get Give an answer. YouTube. What's a YouTube question? Come on, I can't wait. Prajakta Kohli, you recently did a magazine cover with some of the most famous YouTubers. Mm. Rank them from least to most favorite. Bhuvan Baum, Kari Minati, Ranveer Alabadia. Bare biceps. And Masoom Minawala. Bhuvan and Ranveer are close friends. So uh, they'll be one and two. Yeah. No, Who's be... one? Uh, they'll be one so that they don't get upset. One, yeah. <laughs> Karan, yeah. Okay, Bhuvan is one. Huh. Beer biceps is two. Then beer biceps. Um, then Carrie. And, and then, then Masum, Masum I met for the first time on that show. Doesn't matter. That means you don't track her. And then she is, has 1.1 million followers track? and you don't care about her. My what God, Masum, listen, Karan knows who you are. Come. I met her for the first time at that show. So, yeah. And I I'm not really hung out with her. But I've been told about Masum that Outfits that I have worn by big movie stars have not sold, but when she wears it, it really does sell. I'm sure. Well I done. mean, I also she she does like a no, lot of. At least I'm giving credit where it's due and oh not favoring my, my friend. Wow, Prajakta, I feel like Karan has answered all your questions also. But on that note, guys, you have totally proved that you both are made of mad, just like my Poco M4 Pro 5G. And let's move on to our next segment now. It's called What Were You Thinking? 
get into this. Basically, I've gone into your internet history yes. and whatever I thought was funny, weird, cool, or even stuff that you said on other platforms. Oh. So, Karan, on Feb 9th, on a reality show that you are currently judging, you told the whole world this story about what happened while shooting K3G. That morning, my stomach was bad and I started to have loose motion. It started to have a tent, no tent, no tent, no tent, no tent, no tent, no tent. So, I said, okay, where do I go? I will go under such a big limestone statue and I will do what I want to do, I will do it. And I will do it, I will not stop. So, I went and went. और शुरुआत की आरंभ किया और फिर मैं हल्का सा मुझे कोई साउंड आया तो मैंने टर्न किया और एक हॉलीवुड क्रू उसी जगह लोकेशंस ढूंढने आ रहे थे oh और God. फिर उस दूसरे मुल्क के जो जन थे कुछ बीस लोग ने मुझे देखा और उनके कैमरास निकलने आ रहे थे तो मैंने इमीजिटी बोल के कहा प्लीज आई एम द डायरेक्टर ऑफ दिस मूवी have some respect i mean this is not even like you were saying this to someone randomly this is not a reality <laughs> show that goes out to every household i mean this is like but you know but i i you know, know tmi but no you know what you know what tmi is right yes too yes. much information Thank i you. like this story because then it makes like it humanizes karan johar in my mind that even karan johar needs to be karan johar ke sath bhi agar ho sakta hai to fir to it's nice to, you know the six was sequence suraj aur madhav mein where she wears the green sari <laughs> oh, no. it was 500 kilometers of just limestone statues the most beautiful location i think where i have ever that? seen it was in uh, it was in egypt, egypt and it was in a place called farfara and uh, <laughs> <laughs> well you can't make this shit up it was called farfara now what can i do So I can't change. You know, it all far happened far to me was very far far out. Ni, I mean, and I feel like Sura Jua Madam is going to be ruined for all of and us. And Sura Jua Madam, and you can rhyme chant with you know what else. So anyway, <laughs> I was really having a bad time because I was I was getting the losies, and we were shooting, and there was no van in those days, and I've literally gone behind the biggest limestone statue, you know, and it was so big that I thought that I would be covered like for life, but I literally turned, and there was an entire. <laughs> There was an entire army coming my way with me, like facing backwards. This like, seems like a scene from Ace Ventura for some reason. No, it's, it's, now it's her turn now. Oh no, I'm very nervous Prajakta about this. I have very, a lot like, of embarrassing shit. Sweet in comparison, shit. Prajakta, you posted this beautiful picture for the world to oh. see on your Instagram on 22nd November. Yeah. What the fuck is happening over here? What is this? I'm dressed as a star. Yeah, but. <laughs> It's more than the style; it's this expression. So that's good, Preet. He's from Mandishra Entertainment, hmm. and he was extremely embarrassed of me. So Chanchalani. I was in a silver bodysuit, and this was my headgear because that was my character. Okay, you were a star. I was a star. So the sketch is Ashish, the casting director, who says, "I'm going to make you a star. Star, 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 star." And you come as a star. And then I am a star in a school play. Like it's like that. Okay. So I did that, and then GP was extremely embarrassed. Where he was like, "Oh, Prarita, change karlo, fir nikalte hain, change karlo." I said, "Why are you embarrassed of me?" So I have walked 200 meters from the studio on the road, <laughs> right behind him in this entire because he that was like, is the video we need. Why didn't we take that video? Yeah, why there didn't we? There is that video somewhere. I think I posted it's it. It's not there. I've also I've also gone and bought bhindi. <laughs> <laughs> because I was on sabzi wala on the road. I said, "Bhaiya, bhindi, how many? How many?" He said, "Like, huh?" I said, "How many bhindi?" I have taken bhindi. No, but I love this expression. And Bichara yeah. GP is never like, like recovering from this. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He was and very, look, very. And look, you've dressed like a star, and now Karan is going to make you a it's star. It's a full circle. Wow, 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 wow. Life is Nobody a full circle. Nobody makes anyone. Okay. Self-made cheese. Let's get into the next segment. Ten questions, both of you competing. Whoever hits the buzzer first, they get to answer. And if we win, will we get that uh, thing that was on the table before we came? Thing. He's not even calling it a hamper. <laughs> We're giving you something decentish. But now, what are the questions? What are the subjects of yeah. these questions? Yes, all social media related. But then and she'll win. Now she's a social media star. Why? No, you no, come. I suck at this. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah. Who has more Instagram followers? Vicky Kaushal or Varun Dhawan? Varun Dhawan. Varun Dhawan. She said first. No, but I knew the answer. She said first. <laughs> I knew the answer. Okay. That's okay. why it's a quiz. Prajakta one, Karan zero. What's the full form of this social media term? TF, TF. 
प्राजक्ता यूर यूट्यूबर द फक द फक कच्चा बादाम यस आई आई न्यू दिस बट जस्ट फॉरगॉट इट विदाउट दैट दैट्स द होल आइडिया करना ऑल राइट करंटली स्कोर इज करण इज येट टू ओपन खाता या एंड प्रोजेक्टर इज एट टू पॉइंट्स या या ऑल राइट व्हिच ऑफ दीस यूट्यूबर्स हैज द मोस्ट सब्सक्राइबर्स कैरी मिनाटी आशीष चंचलानी भुवन बाम भुवन बाम कैरी मिनाटी यू लाइक आई ओनली नो आई डोंट नो आई ओनली नो इंडियंस I don't. Carry is Carry Minati. Oh really? <laughs> Sorry. Ajay Nagar. Who? I didn't know his name was Carry Minati. Fill in the blanks. Facebook is now called. Oh, Meta. Yes. Uh. What was Snapchat called before it was launched, or rather, when it was launched? A. Snap Pics. B. Frolic. C. Peekaboo. Snap Pics. <laughs> no. Peekaboo. Yes. Okay. What is the current character limit on Twitter? Is it one? Two eighty. Yes. Okay. Which cricketer posted this picture on his Instagram? Ah, uh, is this Bumrah? No. Is it an Indian cricketer? Is it Hardik Pandya? Yes, 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 yes. Hardik Pandya. No. KL Rahul. No. <laughs> Virat Kohli. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the tattoos here. Yeah. yeah, but Virat oh, has these tattoos. Oh. Yeah, okay. Five, Five two. two. What is the meaning of the word crunk? I have no clue. When you're drunk, but you're also Crazy. cracked. <laughs> Come on, one of you hit the buzzer. You got it, but like hit it. You're crazy drunk. Yes, oh. really. Yes, yes. Now yes. you're crunk. Yeah, you're crunk. Five. But three. then one second, who is not crazy when they're drunk? There you're are. You're drunk. There you're there crazy. There are some people drunk and fall out to sleep. Those are called slunk, <laughs> sleepy drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Last question for project. So slow. No, but you have to give me two <laughs> questions now. Oh, I have to What? make up questions. One just, just so that we can do a tiebreaker then. Okay. Who is the most followed person on Instagram? Oh, uh, Ronaldo. Uh, uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, I knew. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> no, we've all said that. Ronaldo. Yeah. Some but two. But she's like ahead by two points now. All right, guys. With that, for playing so well, Prajakta, high five. You high win. High five, Prajakta. High five. All right, guys, for being such sports. Time now for us to take a Poco M4 Pro 5G selfie. Guys, this is the season finale. So this is your absolute last chance to win your own Poco M4 Pro 5G by entering a very simple contest that's now live on my YouTube community page. The details are also in the description below. Remember, like always, It's only for my subscribers. So if you haven't hit subscribe then what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe, go to my YouTube community page and enter that contest now. All right Prajakta for being such an awesome winner. That looks amazing. Prajakta, is that a new phone? Yes, it's That's... also a hamper from our friends at Poco. It's a mad hamper. Yeah. To phone with other wow. stuff. Wow. Karan, how could we ever send you home Aww. without anything? Then why did I stress? <laughs> how sweet. Karan. Thank you. Thank Yay, you. clap clap. Clap 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 clap. You no, know, what was it like hanging out with each other and sort of I don't know if these are the kind of conversations you would ever have. But like, what was I it? I actually have not hung out with her. This is the yeah. first time we've hung out. We met professionally. I met her on my corridor. Then we met at a shoot. <laughs> we met on the day of the publicity shoot. Yeah. I've never been on that set. I was all back. set to come, and then everybody got COVID, and we flew them all back. And I remember everyone was talking about it. They're like, "Listen, Karan's coming tomorrow," and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I never made it, but we've hung out actually legit for the first time. Yeah, on this yellow couch. And now you've invited her to come give you a private tutorial. Now How we're going to become this? friends yeah. because she's going to come and teach me and then I'll put out my first reel with her. All right, so I thought we should end on this, okay? Hmm. Every time I've met Karan, or I don't know if you every time you've met Karan, Karan always tells people what their correct profile is. Because okay, Karan okay. will only post from one profile. The left. Yeah, he will not show you his other side. The, But you should left. now tell Prajita, I thought like you should maybe correct our profiles and tell us for life like which is our better side which Turn is around. Now, turn this way. This is your left, no? Mm. Now show me that. This is your better profile. My right? Yeah. Got it. Yes, Janice, you were so saying. I'm so scared. 
Yeah. This is your, this is your left profile. Yeah. Okay. Now and now show me the other. Your right is also better. Mm. Always gonna pose on so this. So you all can yeah. pose with each other. No, oh. we'll both look in the. We'll both just look at the camera. <laughs> we'll hold the camera here. Yours is a drastic difference. So always give your right. What? Yeah. Hers is like 18 bis. Yours is like 15 bis. So you're saying this is really bad? No, it's not bad. This like, is that just is better. This is much prettier. Oh, much dude, this is why this is why current. I know you very far, but thank you so much. You know, I love the fact that after two seasons, I've got you guys back, and you guys are coming back together as usual. This was a mad, mad, mad episode, and thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Well, thank you for having And guys, us. with that, it's a wrap on this season. Woo! The season finale, wrap on for all the presents. best. I hope you have many seasons after this. And to all of you sitting at home, thank you so much for all the love. I'll be back with a brand new season real soon. Till then, go hit that subscribe button. Hi, this is me Karan Johar and this is Prajakta Kohli and we are on social media star with Janice. If you like the episode, make sure you like, share and subscribe to Janice's channel. We had a blast, I'm sure you will too.